Hey, welcome back to Deck Night on the Rocks, and we have a bourbon hunting video for you. And this one's going to be a little old in time, because this is still when we're on our way back from the Maker's Mark Barrel Pick with Nate Roberts, one of our awesome members. So this video is going to be longer than normal for a bourbon hunt, because this bourbon barn is huge, and they have a lot of bourbon, a lot of obscure things I've never seen or heard of, a lot of things that we've always seen, and a few hard-to-find ones that were on their shelf. So stick around, check it out, see what we uh, end up picking at the end. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And to catch you all on our next videos coming out soon with an update from our time in Ireland. All right, y'all, enjoy. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Now, as usual, the phone didn't cooperate and did about a minute and a half of regular speed with me running fast down the aisle. So I had to use the slow-mo on the editing uh, software, which is not as slow. So I have to do freeze frame to be able to talk about anything. So sorry about that. This is how it's going to be this time. Starting out with a pretty sweet bottle a lot of people enjoy is the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. It's a $79 bottle here, but I think it should be more around $54. Its availability has come out, has not dropped its price like I thought it should. All right, next is OKI. I've heard a lot of good things about OKI. I've never had one, but if you've ever had one, let me know and tell us what you think about it. And then back in there is a Henry McKenna 10-year, which again is just like the Henry Hill Bottled and Bond. It is way more available than it used to be, but the price has shot up. 99 should be more like 69. And High West is there uh, for 109, and I don't know anything about High West. I've had a taste of it, the Campfire Series, and it was pretty good, but I've never had any other ones. So if anybody's had this bottle, let me know and tell me if it's worth 109. And the last one we see standing there is Elijah Craig Full Barrel Proof for 109. That's about the average price, so you get it for 99, that'd be great. But we all know it's a good bottle. Zooming on by there is a Widow Jane 15 year and it is $2.99 and someone needs to let me know if it's worth $2.99 because you all know I don't like Widow Jane and for $2.99 that better be a good bottle so if you've had it please let me know. Here's a Kentucky Owl St. Patrick's edition no idea about it but I've heard nothing good about Kentucky Owl so fill me in on that also. And it's a Willet Purple Top and it is $7.29 and it must be one of the 11 years for that price. And here we go, some Elmer Teeley and some Colonel Taylor single barrel for $3.99 for the ETL and $2.99 for the Colonel Taylor. That's a little much, but some people pay it. I would never pay that much for Elmer Teeley and the single barrel. Uh, that's pushing it too. But if you want to pay that much, that's totally up to you. Hardens Creek gift set, never seen it before, so let me know what y'all think. Sazerac Rye, gross, don't like it, it's best for $49. And apparently they have their own bourbon that's worth $100. I uh, didn't get it, and I don't suspect they ever will, but for $100, bucks, it has got to be great. Buzzard Roost, they have a bunch of it. See, there's more. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little freeze frame right here on this Buzzard Roost, because even though I'm not a fan of it, and I have, I've only had a couple tries, that is a lot of different buzzard roos. So if any of y'all have ever had it, please give me a comment below and tell me what you think about these individual buzzard roos. And here's another one, Widow Jane. Of course, we all know I don't like the 10-year, but that Applewood Rye and the Paradigm Rye, if anybody knows anything about those, please give me a comment and tell me what y'all think about them because they are tickling my fancy. The Senator and Representative we've had before, and I wasn't a really big fan, and for those prices, 59 is not bad, 86 is a little high, but to be honest with you, from what I remember, I would pass on those. Alright, let's move on to the next rush on by, quick old quick, on to the High West. Now here's a bunch of High West with different type of, uh, different names and stuff to go with them, and I don't know anything about them. I have had a campfire and I did enjoy it. But uh, there's a Manhattan cocktail pre barrel finish, so maybe that's good. I haven't had the double rye or the bourbon or the rendezvous, so y'all should give it a shot. Let me know. All right, moving on too quick for me to see. Oh, look, there's some Russells. Y'all know I love that. Horse Soldiers never had it. Rabbit Hole stuff, I love it too. And here's a pause with the Sagamore Spirit. Now, I've heard great things about Sagamore Spirit, and we have had the Sagamore Spirit Rye, the blue and gold label. It's a double oaked, and it was not as good as I had heard. Now, the other ones I haven't had, and I hope they're better than the one I own. But if they are, and you've had them, let me know so I can get an uh, understanding on that, because I didn't like them. Buy Pinhook, buy Japanese, buy Look, Wilderness Trail, and Redemption. Hey, guys. Don't know much about it. All right, there we go with the standard regular phone speed. So now I can see things. Heaven's Door, not a fan, no matter what price it is. I haven't had one that I've liked. More Japanese whiskey, don't know anything about it. Comment below if you do. Nashville Barrel, I never had one and I want to get one. I've heard they're great. Jacob's Pardon, never had. Highway, Kentucky Ace, never had. Look, there's a $100 bourbon barn. If anybody's ever had that, boy, let me know. I doubt you have, though, because it's only in this place in Kentucky. There's some Peerless. The Peerless is good stuff. The prices are kind of high, but I do enjoy them. Some more things I've never seen or heard of. Cinder and Smoke, never heard of it. Paul Sutton. Uh, nope. 
Blue Run, uh, I like them, but their prices are way high. I don't think they're worth it. Angel's Envy, pretty good stuff. Without anything outside of the regular, it gets pretty high price, but it's pretty good. Penelope, the only one we ever had is that barrel strength four grain, and we never had it. We sold, we gave the bottle away, and we never got to try it. But I've heard great things about Penelope, so if you have any comments, let me know, please. Then we got the smoke wagons. I love the smoke wagons. Old elk, a lot of different old elk with different finished uh, expressions. Love old elk, what I've had. So if you haven't had it, just give it a shot. The 2XL American oak is good, and I've heard the other stuff is really good too. I'd love to try it. Bruno Joseph Magnus. I like what I've had, so it probably can't be bad. Lucky Seven, I've never had any. Let me know what y'all think. Give me some comments. Man, this is moving fast. Stellum. Never had Stellum. Give us a comment on what y'all think about Stellum. All the Jefferson's Oceans we've had are Jefferson's Reserve. Never liked any of them. I've tried them multiple times and I've yet to find one that I like. So if anybody has any comments on why I should try Jefferson's Reserve again, please do so and let me know. All right. Don't know what that is. Copper Sea. Man, it does not sound very uh, yummy. Rock Castle. Not yummy sounding. There's the Kentucky Vintage and the Pure Kentucky. Willet. I think it's a green top. And Willet Pot still. Gross. So... All right, moving around. Time for a breath. Am I going to take the turn or go down to the next level? Turning on to the end cap where there's the Jim Beam white label. If you've watched my video before, you don't need to hear me say it again. I don't like it. Jim Beam Black, not a fan. Red Stag, never had it. Devil's Cut, haven't had it either. And since all the Jim Beam I've had has made me not made me want to gag i don't see me trying those unless somebody around here convinces me that i should get over myself and try a different one because the last time i tried something different it did not go well for me all right let's jump over to the other end cap and they have on the bottom shelves uh wild turkey's american honey and wild turkey 101 along with a big bottle of one uh, wild turkey 86 and uh, to be honest with you i don't know why those are on the bottom shelf because what's above it is a jack daniel old number seven black label and there is absolutely no way in hell by my opinion that jack daniel's old number seven is better than wild turkey 101 i guess you know they threw evan williams uh on top and i guarantee you evan williams is worse than both of them uh at least that expression is all right moving on all right let's transition in here to the next shelf town branch all their different expressions not a fan of the three i've had so i'm not really into trying the other ones anybody has a uh, comment on town branch give it to us all right here's some truth sipes and something never seen it red mb hb Roland. no idea about that saint almost fire i'm guessing that's based on an 80s movie copper and king no idea deadwood said it's aces and eights so i guess it's deadwood in north dakota it's south uh, based on here's some clyde may stuff we've had a bottle we ended up giving away in one of our giveaways so we've never actually tried it somebody was comment below and want to know what you think about old clyde there i've heard good things about clyde so uh, i want to hear some more before i go and spend money on it because i have no space for more bourbon yellowstone we got the bottle that gary sent us thanks gary i appreciate that still haven't opened it yet because it's signed and i don't really want to open it dad's hat man that sounds gross whiskey row boondocks as i said when we started this video guys there are a lot of obscure and unknown bottles on here so if you have any comments below or any comments about them put them below and let us know there's old lusty call cool looking bottle which usually means crappy juice and for sure it is a crappy juice there's some breckenridge i've heard some things about that good and bad never had it let me know jeff the creed the one we had was gross the bloody the butcher corn down there it was not good and i don't suggest anybody have it it's a four grain but if anybody knows anything else about some other jeff the creed let me know because they do have cool bottles and they do look cool distillery so i'd love to uh give them a better second chance there's the old dickle can't have a bourbon hunt video without some dickle love the dickle no i don't but if you do that's great there's a lot of different kind of dickles out there but uh, all the dickles I've had, I'm not a fan of. I would rather have Jack Daniels, and that says a lot. Knob Creek 9, and Knob Creek I've ever had is good. The store picks are, uh, are the better ones. The rye is good. The 12 years is good. The maple is good. Sour smoked maple right there. That's a good one, especially for the ladies that want to try something new, or if you're trying to ease someone into bourbon, that's Knob Creek smoked maple is a good choice. Here we go with some... Woodford Reserve Double Oak, that's a good start, start of bourbon. I love the smoky and chocolatey and sweetness of it. The other Woodfords, all those right there. 
not a fan the regular woodford not a fan it's a decent mixer but to drink straight on its own is definitely not good uh definitely not anymore after trying a lot of other ones ultra horse through the whole whiskey rail series 1910 1920 it's good stuff the 1897 to 1870 is okay but i've had better Old Forest Statesman, I've never had. We do own a bottle, but I've never opened it. And I've heard both good and bad about it. Old Forest Mint Julep, don't like mint juleps, never had it. The uh, 100 proof is pretty good. The uh, 86 proof, I've never had. The rye is good. So pretty much anything Old Forest makes is good. And if it's not great, it's just average. And uh, being just average is pretty damn good for your worst bourbon. Because there's a lot of people that make bad bourbons, even when they make good ones. All right, here's some Buffalo Trace White Dog, and I'll tell you what, I should have bought all that because I've been procrastinating on it. I've got a barrel I've been wanting to fill up and age for my own time frame, and uh, I need that to do it, and I should have got all of it, but I didn't. All right, let's go. Hit the gas pedal. Move on past the White Dog. All right, Buffalo Trace, $45 a bottle is not at all worth it, and that's why it's probably still full. Chattanooga Whiskey. I love pretty much everything they've made. It's either a love or hate, though, because a couple of them I had, the single malt and the Cabernet cask, I hate it. But the rest of them are great. So if you haven't had Chattanooga Whiskey, you should. Texas Whiskey. Mmm. No, thank you. Texas Bourbon. Mmm. No, thank you. I say that just because it's from Texas, not because I've had it. So it might be great. I don't know. Maker's Mark Standard Stuff. It's a good price, but it's just standard weeder bourbon. It's a good mixer. It's good to start with, but after having a lot of different type of higher-end bourbons, it's just okay. It's nothing to brag about. Even the 46 isn't that amazing. All right, back into some more obscure, never heard of bourbons. Um, I have no idea what these are, and to be honest with you, I can't even read their labels. Pretty sure I'm using Amy's phone on this one because it's got a little haze to it, and she sticks her uh, phone in her pants waistband, and it always gets her body skin oils and stuff on it, so it's always... Well, cloudy but anyway there's some um 13th colony uh what i've had is okay uh, i've heard other people love it i'm so far not a fan old scout gross all right never heard of this stuff smash tater don't know what it is few don't know what it is alton no idea as I told myself when I come across ones like the Middle West and Alton and things, that I was going to start looking them up. Oh, look, a traveler's gross. I was going to start looking them up and commenting uh, off of the information I can read, but there are so many at this store. It's so huge that I have not the time, and it would take forever with this 45-minute video we're at so far. And I took the time going over Evan Williams and their flavored stuff to talk about something else because it's not any good. Evan Williams Bottom and Bond, white label, it's pretty good. I like it. That price is all right. The 1783 I never had. Comment below if you had it. Evan Williams Single Barrel, I uh, haven't had it yet, but I've heard great things. I do own one, but I haven't had it. Boone County, I've heard stuff both ways. I don't know. Elvis, eh, I don't know about that. Junters Creek, I can't even read it, guys. Hudson Whiskey, New York, and New York Bourbon, not been lucky so far. So, Coble, never heard of that. Uh, California Oak, Hershey's, I don't even know. Cash Strength, I can't read it. Can't read it, it's too fast. Fresh Whiskey's gross, it's absolutely disgusting. Pikes, well, I've heard of good things. Tin Cup, not, not a fan. The 10 year was okay. Amy's got a short on it, go back and watch it. Woodenville, I've heard good things, so I haven't had it. Old Smoky, gross, it's flavored whiskey. Uh, gross, it's a moonshine, whatever they want to call it, it's not any good. Uh, never heard of it. Watershed, mm, Fort Moe's, never heard of it. Gold Bar, that's a catchy looking box bottle, but we all know when they're a catchy box and bottle to go with it that it's usually pretty crappy on the inside, so unless someone can tell me otherwise, I'm going to say it's junk. All right, transition now to the next shelf. There is a Sycamore and a St. Elmo, Minor Case. I mean, this liquor store must have all the money in the world to just buy whatever they come across because these stuff... I have never heard of. Now, somebody come down here and tell me that I'm missing out on something awesome because these things I haven't heard of, and I'm just it's just killing me to see so many random bottles. So, any comments, please let me know. Here's a Noble Oak. No idea. AM, PM. Again, no idea. Dusty Shelf, Passing By, Devil's River. Again, no idea. River Set, brown sugar bourbon. I've had it. I've had it. 
don't like it it's twenty four thirty five dollars seems a little high old overholt a lot of people talk about on those about they're good and they're, for the lower price it's a good product to have even though they're made by jim beam i heard it's worth it 17.92 it's a barton product small batch is okay but i wouldn't brag about it i wouldn't turn it down but it, it's not the best bernheim original weeded whiskey not a fan tell you guys i don't like it red eye never heard of it Elijah Craig small batch it's definitely a really good shelf bourbon it's on the pairs with the maker's mark and the woodford reserve and if those are the three to choose from i'd go with the Elijah Craig small batch every day straight rye mainly Elijah Craig makes it good so you're not going wrong anytime you get that gentleman jack it's just a nice name for the same crap it may be a little different but it does not that much better than the regular number seven 114 old granddad it's pretty good stuff especially for the price old granddad bottom and bottom is okay i've had better regular old granddad I've never had but i can't imagine it's that great holler head it's gross i don't even know why it exists dough ball never had it it's flavored whiskey and i'll probably never will will horse no one ever heard of cooper's craft it's one of the best inexpensive bourbons i've ever had so if you get a chance you should give it a try i don't know about that lower end with the screw top but the one before is really good don't know what that weird looking thing is nomad never heard of it barf star never heard of it dr showers medley brothers bourbon something rye whiskey i can't even read what company it is screwball peanut butter whiskey is not good unless you wanted peanut butter whiskey gross there's another peanut butter whiskey that just a bottle itself looks disgusting sheep dogs another peanut butter whiskey i was imagining all these are peanut butter whiskeys ezra brooks 99 i had a bottle we ended up giving it away so i don't know it's a luxury product all these are ezra, Rowe, ezra brooks and they're all from luxury and i haven't had a luxury i liked yet until i had an actual bottle of luxury all the other stuff wasn't good even the blood oath regimental nope sap 56 no idea what that is but i'm imagining it's crap early times bottle and bond i'm sorry not bottle and bond regular early times it's in a plastic bottle guys if it comes in a plastic bottle a good chance it's not good Big House Straight Bourbon Whiskey, trying to play on a cool name. The yeah, guy's never heard of it. I'm sure it's not good. It's got dust on it. It's literally covered in dust. That should tell you something. Still House, whatever person to thought that putting it in a 1970 looking gas can is either a genius or a fool. But as of looking at all of them that are sitting on the shelf, I'm thinking they're more along the lines of a fool. Rittenhouse Rye, a Heaven Hill product. I've never had it. Comment below larceny uh, regular proof uh, not a fan when i had it last i didn't like it very much but it is a weeded bourbon comment below if you like larceny cast crew never heard of it all right we're getting down to the bottom shelf so bottom the old dusties and they're not old dusties because they're old they're dusty because they are probably bad and have been sitting on this shelf for a while even at 749 for a bottle all right everybody so i cut out a whole minute and a half of bottom shelf cheap liquor because I was told people don't want to see that crap. But there's some Age and Age, which is pretty decent. And Age and Age 90, which I heard is better than Henry Kenna. Brown Label, I don't know anything about. And the Old Fitzgerald, it's not the Old Fitz anybody wants. It's very old Barton. Now, the very old Barton, I heard, is really good for 13 bucks. But, guys, for real, anything on that shelf that I just went through, the only thing I get would be the ancient age the rest of it would just stay there but to be honest with you at this point in my bourbon journey ancient age is starting to be uh turn my nose up to it the only one i thought we hit the ancient age would be moving back up into some better stuff but it's another minute and a half of bottom shelf disgustingness coming up so it's going to get cut also let's move on to the other side of the aisle and see what else is up there for us all right guys back to the other side we're jumping up here to the top shelf hopefully there's better stuff for us on the other side there's that king's distillery out of new york and then the basil hayden stuff both of them uh don't think about the king's and the basil hayden some of it's good cute little belt on it it's you know for 80 80 proof it's pretty good but it's still 80 proof it's not disgusting but uh, you know there's others that are better for the price the duke never had we have the white label but i've never had it the 291 I've never opened it but we do have a bottle of it too Amador, it's another one that I've never heard of. If you guys have any comments, let me know. Backbone bourbon, I don't know anything about it. All bones bourbon, no idea. No idea what Blade Runner is at the movie. Bower Hill, haven't had it, but uh, for the price, I'm, someone's going to tell me about it before I go spend money on it. I don't know what the Silver Square is. Someone comment below if you know what Silver Square, I can't read the name. 
upper hand, savings time. I can't, these guys with these bottles, they really need to just stick with the basics because it makes me, just turns me away right from the beginning. If anybody's got any comment about any of these that we're passing by, let me know because I'm just, I'm good with walking on past them. Calumet, we've had a few. I ended up not liking them as much, so I was disappointed in that. Blackwood, no idea. Bushwood, I guess that's Caddyshack with the golf ball on top. If anybody's had it, let me know. Oh, moving on. Puncher's Chance, I've heard some people tell me I should try it. I haven't got to it yet, but I guess I will. Don't know what that thing is. Old Louisville, never had it. Bargetown, guys, the ones I've had are pretty good. Uh, the, there's a lot of expressions. It's kind of overwhelming. So if y'all comment below, tell me what to drink. Frank August, I've uh, been told it's really good, so I need to try it. Four Gate, I've never had, but they're pretty expensive. So it's going to be a while before I do, probably. Oh, Garrison Brothers, guys. Y'all need to comment below on each one because the one we've had has not been good. It's bad. Sweetens Cove, Tennessee is pretty decent. I've never had the other ones because they're super damn expensive. So it's just not going to spend the money. Uh, I've had one Hirsch, and it was a store pick, and it was all right. Um... 15 stars never had it guys comment below on it there's a lot of different ones there to choose from for a lot of high prices old saint nick pass i've heard bad never heard anything good about it down home no idea comment below if you have an idea all nations i guess and i don't know anything about it barrel i've had the seagrass i think it is and it was pretty good and i've liked what i've had but it does they do enjoy their bourbon because their prices are pretty high I like that dovetail right there Kentucky Owls, like I said before, I haven't heard anything good about it, and it's pretty high priced. If someone wants to comment and let me know, piggyback or whistle pig, no thanks. Canadian whiskey, I will pass on it, and the ones I've had I didn't like. There's some cock, gotta love the cock, but I've never had any cock. If anybody's had some cock and enjoyed it, let me know what you think about the cock. All right, um, it's a catchy name, it does catch your eye, so whoever came with that either want a genius or an idiot, and I think they're a genius, but I have never actually paid for it. So let me know what you think about the cock. All right, moving down to the next shelf. All right, another one I've never heard of, Blazing Brooks. Comment below if you have. Grass Widow, the French Connection, Jay Riddle, John's Moking Gun, Rye 3, Fortuna, the Rye 3 and the Fortuna I've heard of, but all the other ones I haven't. Hemingway, we just got a bottle of the Rye. I heard it's really good, so we're going to be giving that one a shot real soon. Starlight, I've heard good things. I've never, just have never got one. Oh boy, Templeton. I've heard of Templeton. Again, never had it. Anybody comment below, let me know. Jack Daniels Single Barrel River Fry it is amazing. I love it. Single Barrel Select is okay. Single Barrel Rye, I've never had. The Triple Mash, the Bonded Rye, and the Bonded, I've never had it. Comment below, tell me what you think. Just how compared to the old number seven of their rye, because the old number seven is not good. Tennessee Apple. Here we go with the Jack Daniels flavored whiskey in the Tennessee Fire. It's probably a whole shelf of Jack Daniels flavored crap. Tennessee Honey. Good for them for jumping into the market of the people that really don't drink whiskey for whiskey or bourbon. All right, Dexter. Never heard of it. Never Say Die. Never heard of it. Gianna Lauren. Never heard of it. Local Martingo. Mariengo. Luca, Luca Mariengo, never heard of it. Comment below, guys. I uh, can't read it. St. Thomas St. Moore. Never had it. Probably not going to. Tar, doubt I'm going to try that. Monk's Road, I've had it, and I don't remember if what was good, so I'm going to try it again. Someone let me know. Ingram, never had it. Bourbon Pursuit, is it in the Bourbon Channel? I need to try it, I guess. Support my peoples. All right, we got some Davidness. County or Davies County. I can't read it. I don't know what the hell's going on today. Oak and Eden. I like it. The one we've had has been pretty good. I really think it's good stuff. I love the little wood spire they put inside of it. It's kind of catchy and it's really good bourbon. So if you haven't had it, you should give it a try. Texas something rumble, Texas whiskey, some bandy blue, Texas bourbon, Rough Rider, Rossville. I've heard of Rossville and everything, all that stuff. I haven't. Doc Swinson, I've heard of. I've got a bottle, haven't opened it yet, but the other stuff, I've heard good things about it. So they have a lot of different expressions. So give it a shot. There's our boy Bib and Tucker, who I've never had, but we keep talking about it and we never get one. Leaper's Fork. It's a, t- a Tennessee whiskey. I should give it a try. Haven't got to it yet. Already one. I've heard good things. Never had it. A cool little bottle. I love how it's thin and easy to hold on to. Never had it, but I've heard good things. Wild Terry Kentucky Spirit, y'all know that's the best. Rare breed rye, rare breed, uh, regular rare breed bourbon. It's the amazing stuff. You should try it if you haven't had it. It's the best bottle of bourbon value out there. 
Long Branch is good. American Honey is super sugary and sweet. If you like honey stuff, that's the way to go. Wild Turkey 101, rye, regular. It's really good stuff, man. It's awesome. It's the best stuff made. I love it. Even in the plastic bottle, it's worth having. Wild Turkey 86, now that's the one. If I got to say I don't like very much, that is it. Because I don't like proof. I'm not a proof chaser. But I'll tell you what, that 86 proof Wild Turkey leaves something to be desired. All right, jump down here to some Blue Note. I've only had Blue Note once, and I didn't like it, but I've heard a lot of people brag though, brag on it a lot, so we're going to have to try it again before I say it's not good. Five Trail, never heard of it. Brush Creek, never heard of it. Fuck Whiskey. Apparently they're saying fuck Whiskey. I've never had it. All right, Solomon, L W Sinclair, Boulder, Midway, Boulder, Don't Know, Don't Know, Barrel Proof, Blom Brothers, Bourbon. That's it. Just bourbon. Don't know what that is. Trails in. The clover. I've seen clover. I've had the clover. It's all right. No, actually, I don't remember. I just don't remember standing on to me at all. Mictors. Regular old stuff you can get all the time. I'm over Mictors. They've kind of irritated me. Blade and Blow. Not good. Burton James. Meh. Cooper Craft. Never had this one, so I don't know. Midway again. No idea. Milan Green. I heard it's good. Never had it. Guys, comment below. Tell me what you think. Tommy Rotter, never heard of it. Can't read the bottle. Can't read the bottle. Ben Holiday, super good stuff. You guys should have. If you have never had a chance to get it, you should. If you see it, don't work past it. Ida Harbor, don't like it. Walthens is all right. The before California bourbon, Bullet premix stuff. Haven't had the green one. Orange one sucks. Bullet bourbon. It's a good mixer. It's a good cheap bourbon. It's uh. I don't think it's worth drinking straight and neat on the rocks. But if you want to mix something with it, this is a good value price bourbon. The rye. It's okay. You know, it gives a good spice and flavor for a mixed drink, but I, I just don't see the point in drinking it straight. Bullet 10 years, same thing. Didn't like it. Haven't had uh, Barrel Strength or this Grey Label Bullet. Uh, never had a Japanese whiskey. Uncle Nearest, I've heard mixed reviews up and down about it. Blackened, haven't had it. Some people love it. Some people don't. Make your own choices. I have no idea. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Remus. Remus is a great MGP. It's probably one of the best MGPs you can get. Ragged Branch. Never had it. Never had it. Don't know. Can't read it. Can't read it. Nelson Brothers. Never had it. But I've heard good things. New Riff is amazing. Everything I've had they make is awesome. It's an Ohio uh, bourbon. I'm sorry. It's not Ohio. It's up there near Ohio on the uh, Ohio River. But it's in Kentucky. But their stuff is good. You should try it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. That's what this name of this um, video should be is never heard of it. Because there are so many damn bourbons at the store that I've never heard of or seen before. So if you guys have heard or seen any of these, comment below. James E. Pepper, 1776. A good friend of mine told me it was great, but everybody else I've told me it's not. Uh, James Pepper uh, decanter. A lot of people chasing that sucker. I've had a pour and it didn't stand out to me. Rocktown, never heard of it. Four Roses plastic bottle, never had it and I'm never going to because I don't want to ruin the awesome mindset I have towards the Four Roses Single Bros. Small Batch Select because it's really good stuff. Laws, never heard of it. Old Hollow Side, never heard of it. Baker 7, uh, I thought it was good. Then we just had it recently and I was disappointed. Bradshaw, we have a bottle, haven't opened it. Don't know anything about it. This stuff I've never heard of. I don't even know what the name of it is. Don't know what this is. I can't read it. Lumber back. Lumber. Lugan Haggett and Pluck. I don't know. Can't read it. No. Can't read it in the slow mo. Then just going to move on. 65 and $60 a bottle. And if y'all read, know what that is, give me a comment below and tell me if it's worth it. All right. Down to the next shelf. Holly Hollow Distillery. Never heard of it. I guess this next uh, whole shelf is going to be comments of never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Casey Jones. Is that the uh, railroad conductor guy? Eric Legrain. Never heard of it. Off Hours. Never heard of it. There's Holding Station. I've heard of it. Old Dominic, Tennessee whiskey. I've heard a lot of good things about Old Dominic. Maybe I should break down and give it a shot one day. All right, Wyoming whiskey, never heard of it. Freedom whiskey, never heard of it. Redwood Empire, California bourbon. I've heard great things. I've had, I think I've had the red one there in the middle, and it was really good. So it's, I need to buy a bottle. Legion, I've heard good things, never had it. Oh, Wildcatter, never had it. 
haven't heard of it. Benjamin Chapman, never heard of it. Rigers, never heard of it. Restoration Rye from Castle and Key, I've had it, and it's pretty good. It really is. All right, Green River. Everything I've had from Green River I really like. Amy has not. We're complete opposite on this, and she says it's gross, and I say it's pretty decent, especially for the price. All right, ammunition whiskey. <laughs> it just sounds like a bad idea. Never had it, though, so make, you guys can let me know. What, uh, maybe it is a great idea. Red Saw? Sounds horrible. Murica. Poor choice of name for a bottle. Probably not any good. No idea. Old Bargetown. I was told to buy this old Bargetown white label that it's really good. So next time I see it for that price, I'm pretty sure I can pick one up. Jim Beam Single Barrel. Jim Beam Double Oaked. Not going to try them because when I tried this Jim Beam Black, it was me stepping out and trying something on the different types of Jim Beam products. And I absolutely hated it. So it has ruined me for trying any of the other Jim Beams. The Devil's Cut, the Double Oaked, or the Single Barrel. It's just, I don't see the point in doing it. I just don't. I don't like any of the Jim Beam stuff. And I, I could be an idiot. I could be wrong. But I'm not doing it. Anybody's ever had these other things? If you've had them specifically, specifically comment below which ones and why I should like them and why we should give them another shot. More Jim Beam White Label. Moving on by, uh, including their end cap, they have tons of Jim Beam here. Oh, great. The Jim Beam Sugar Candy, not bourbon whiskeys, because these are just trying to catch the market for everybody that likes this flavored crap. So when the old, the old smoky moonshine, hand quote moonshines came out, these guys probably felt the need to compete. So they started making all this weird flavored shit to compete with the not moonshine moonshine stuff that old smoky makes. All right, time to pause this crap or edit this and move on. That's enough flavored whiskey for today. Now here's some Southern Comfort. Now you'll all be surprised when he was in Ireland. Every, all the whiskey you could find in that city was Maker's Mark, Buffalo Trace, and Southern Comfort. You know, Southern Comfort to me is not a whiskey. And all of my friends that I go to, and they, none of them ever have Southern Comfort. None of them ever try. You all need to try the Southern Comfort because to me, it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's a joke. It's it's junk. It's trash. It's just like this old smoky crap. It's just crap. So if someone can tell me otherwise, explain to me why Southern Comfort deserves to be in the bourbon world, let me know because I don't know anybody who thinks of it that way. And here we are in this old smoky and crap flavored crap and now on to bird dog flavored crap. So I'm going to go ahead and take this time to say if y'all can't tell, we came back from Ireland. Both of us were a little sick. I have a cold and uh, it's making it really hard to record this here video because... The more I talk, the more my voice hurts. So we got a little bit of time left. We're going to knock this sucker out and stop talking about this flavored crap. Let's transition over here to the Rebel. Rebel's good, cheap whiskey. Not one for me, but it's not bad for the price. It's for if you like a weed bourbon. There's the old Benchmarks, the Benchmark 8 I've never had, but the other Benchmarks are full, top floor, small batch, bonded, foolproof. It's definitely worth the money it's it's not the greatest bourbon in the world but for the price that you're pulling on these things they're definitely really good to me you could probably charge 50 bucks for these bottles most of these bottles can get away with it especially that foolproof and the bonded they're really good here's some beardstown no idea about it curveball no idea about it don't know what that is banker's club no idea what this is. No idea what that is. Kentucky Walker. No idea. All right. Yellow Banks. Never heard of it. Old Tub. Heard of it. And I also heard that they're canceling it. Just continuing the series. And that's good because it's crap. And you can tell we're about to end this video because it's sped up in speed. And good thing is because all that stuff was junk. We didn't just see it anymore. But this right here we probably wanted to see. So I'm going to have to go back and put it in the slow-mo. All right. Angel's Envy and Dexter. I never heard of the Dexter. 82 bucks. Never heard of it. Don't know. Rye 3. Never had it. 86 bucks. If you ever heard of Dexter or Rye 3, give me a comment below. Yellowstone. $72. We've got a bottle of it. Never opened it. Jack Daniel Cereal Select is good stuff. 59 bucks isn't bad. Jefferson Reserve. Don't like it. Never had it. Liked it. Somebody comment below and tell me if we should. And then the uh, new Rift single barrel stuff is good. We've gone through two bottles of that, I believe, and we really enjoyed it. So good stuff right there. All right, what's next? All right, there's a walking back down the aisle to see what Amy and Nate are taking a ponder at. I don't know what this is that Amy's looking at, but we didn't get it. I promise you that. 
and then there's some of the stuff we've already seen taking a quick look we're gonna walk right here squeeze past nate excuse us nate and you know what i'm going over to i gotta walk on over here to this wild turkey and see what one this is did i get in close enough to see looks like a camp nelson e well them camp nelson barrels are good stuff 74 dollars is a little high for that bottle 72 is definitely a little high for some rare breed but we didn't get it so i got plenty of other bottles to get back at home here's a rabbit hole founders collections 2004 99.99 you know who didn't buy that me barrel bourbon 549 Barrel Whiskey, three forty nine. dollars Didn't get either one of those. There's a Parker Heritage, double barreled. Can't read it. Double barrel blend, but $8.99. No, thank you. Here's the Heaven's Door Bootlegger for $2,999.99. No, thank you. I've seen that for $4.99 and still didn't buy it. Legend 78. I don't know what that is. That's signed by somebody for $2,199. Pass. A Yamato Japanese whiskey. Don't see the price, but I'm not paying for it. And the video is about to end, so hurry up and get through it. Four gate for a lot of money. Here we go into the rest of us telling you, explaining what we got. That's the end of the bourbon barn hunt, Williamsburg, Kentucky. And we got a WD Safafu from a wild turkey. I've been wanting one of these for a while. So that's, How do you say it? I don't know. How do you say it, Nate? WB Safafu. That would be sapper. So I got one, they got one too. So, uh, yeah. All Very right. cool. If you want something, you're fine, trying to find something. Might be a little pricey, but it's enough. It's definitely, they had a lot of cool stuff. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed the bourbon hunt at the Bourbon Barn in Williamsburg, Kentucky. We appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, and comment below on one of the bottles we saw and what ones you think we should have took home and what ones you thought were ridiculously priced. We appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching. Keep up with Dagna on the Rocks, and big thank you to Nate Roberts for taking us in that barrel pick at Maker's Mark. We appreciate you hanging out with us all day doing this bourbon hunt. We had a great time. Thanks again, Nate. And all those Deck Knight crew members out there, keep sipping.